Uh, Rob, uh, third meeting with Leicester this season in the LV Cup. A bit of a different competition, but again, another chance for for the boys. Yeah, I think I think for us, we're very pleased. As our LV games are against tough teams. You know, Leicester will be a very good fixture for us. We're expecting a good crowd uh, with the squad we've picked. Um, we're expecting a very good game of rugby, um, and I think for us, it's very much about using this game to really get some guys up to speed, some guys who probably need some game time, to keep some other guys ticking along who've, who've not played as much as, as some other players, guys returning from injury. And I think it, it's just going to be a very good fixture for us, very important in our run-up to our next block of Premiership games. Uh, and the guys are very aware that uh, they're being very closely looked at. You know, if you think some of the guys coming through there now, playing on Saturday, Hayden Thomas, Steno, Clarkey, James Phillips, you know, Hawani, you know, Brian Rennett, you know, you can almost go right through the team um, Jason Schumacher, and as you go through, you know, it's guys who played a fair bit of rugby for us, started a fair few games, but we feel need some more rugby. Uh, and we feel that, you know, getting these guys game time now will put us in good stead as we go through the Newcastle game and into the next block of very important Premiership games. It may be a break from, uh, an international break for a lot of the Leicester boys in that, but when you look down through their squad and what they're going to bring here, it'll still be a fairly formidable unit that they uh, bring to Sandy Park. The truth of it is, you know, you listen to Richard Cockfall and every Leicester team he puts on the pitch, he expects to win, you know, and that's a, that's a, a great way, great attitude to have, and it's an attitude I'd like to think that we've got, you know, that we've picked a we've picked a team there that we expect to go out onto the pitch here at home and win a game of rugby, and, I, and I'd be very disappointed if we don't. Uh, you know, not not, and that's not deriding anything, anything that Leicester may bring to the LV Cup, but I just think it's the attitude that we have to have if we want to move forward as a as a club. You know, it's a strong group of players. Uh, a group of players who are not, in, not inexperienced in any uh, any way, all should have something massive to prove. All guys who probably think you know this is their big opportunity to play well and force themselves into the number one spot heading into the Harlequins game. And to me, that, that makes it a very exciting fixture from a coaching perspective. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see which guys hold their hands up and say they can't be left out for the next two or three weeks. You've had two ding dong battles with Leicester already. They haven't gone quite the way of the Chiefs at the moment. What have you learned from them? I just think you, you learn that you've got to do 95% of what you do very well and that gives you a chance to come out on top and I think probably you, know, you look particularly at both games we probably did 90% of things well and that 5% extra percent we needed just kind of went away from us either through our own making or through Leicester playing very well and, and taking some chances. That, that we didn't take. Uh, you, you learned some hard lessons in the Premiership. We said that at the start of the year. We've, we've learned two hard lessons against uh, against Leicester. That we, we've put an awful lot into the game, and you know, over two games we've come away with one point. Now we've just got to make sure we are learning those lessons. And this week, you know, we've got to be more clinical. If we create a chance, we've got to take it. You know, and it's taking these chances, playing in the right areas of the pitch. You know, it's not missing tackles. It's not making any basic mistakes that give you an opportunity to win. Uh, and that's very much how we're going to attack the game. You know, we, we want to play with energy. The guys have had a good break this week. And like I say, to me, it's going to be about energy and attitude and a group of players showing, you know, what this game means to them. Last week was another tough lesson in Montpellier. How have the, you've obviously given the boys a few days off. How have they reacted since? And uh, your own thoughts on it? You probably would have reflected a bit more on the game itself. Yeah, I mean, it's very difficult. It's very. It, the guys were down after the game. You know, there's no point running away from it. I think. I think everyone was. I think we went over there. I think we thought we put a lot into the game, uh, and came up short in the game. We feel we should have won. Now, fair bit that was our own doing. You know, there, there were some try, uh, try scoring opportunities. There were some penalty opportunities that we missed. There were some opportunities to turn you know, Montpellier back into their own their own half a few times that we didn't take. We did concede a relatively silly yellow card when we were relatively comfortable. You know, th those are our own making, and, and we have to deal with that. That said, you know, I'm never going to stand in front of this group of players and uh, criticise them for a lack of effort because they put everything into the game. Um, we came up short. Yeah. So be it. You know, sometimes you've got to take that on the chin. So what we've done is we've given the boys a little bit of a break this week. Uh, they've trained very well today. Fantastic energy and attitude again. And I get the feeling the guys are really looking forward to Saturday. They're ready to get, get back on the horse, get some more games of rugby under their belt, and like I say, run into our next block of Premiership games in, in great nick. The other good news this week was two more players in Luke Scott and James Phillips have signed on for two two years. You're getting that core nucleus now of the squad. Uh, Long term for, for for the future. Yeah, I think that's very important. Now, you know, I'm I'm not so naive as say you know we're ripping up the Premiership this year, but we we, we look a good solid side in most of our games, and to me that's a very important building point for us. 
A, that we've got a good solid core of players, but B, that they're all very aware of how hard we want them to work here at the club. We know they're good personalities, which is very important, and, and that core of players is going to be here next year. Now, that gives us a real uh, something to work on for the next couple of years. Uh, that doesn't mean we're not going to bring in other players, of course we are, but you've always got to maintain the core of what Exeter's about. I'm very comfortable that we've got that now for the next two years, and I think that's that's the that's going to be the basis of us, our, our, us moving forward for the next couple of seasons. And one of those new players could be Nemanja Nadolo. He's inching ever closer. Visas are being signed as we speak. Uh, what's the latest with him? Well, he could well be here. He could well be here on Saturday, but obviously, you know, the deadline's passed now for us to get him registered in time for the LV Cup as a as an, registered with the RFU. So, you know, we we'll expect him to see him here on Saturday. Hopefully, he'll get a full training week under his belt next week. Um, and we'll have time to register him now. Whether that brings him into contention for the Newcastle game or not, we'll, we'll just have to see next week how we run things and, and what happens this weekend. But it, it does mean, you know, he's, he's virtually here. Uh, we know there's not going to be any issues. I keep saying that, so the more I say it, the more absurd <laughs> it's going to happen. And, you know, and I think he'll just be a, a good guy, a good addition to the squad. Uh, I think he'll fit in very quickly. You know, he's already met the players who've been over here at the ball going, ball going game. Uh, he seems to settle in very quickly. Uh, I think he's just looking forward to getting over here and getting stuck into you know, extra, extra rugby in the Premiership. So, you know, he'll have to earn his place, just like everybody else. But, um, you know, we haven't brought him over here because we, you know, we think he's miles off. We think he'll settle in very quickly. And finally, the, the other good news this week, Paul McKenzie back in the A-League side. And uh, you've got nobody in the walking wounded, has it? We've got a few bumps and bruises, but nobody long-term now, which uh, yeah, we've is got crucial. None of, none of what you describe as our senior squad now, uh, long-term long -term injuries, uh, which is obviously very important to us. As you say, we've got a few guys who would be touch and go for this weekend, but only with real bumps and bruises or, or stitches or whatever. Uh, we probably could have got anybody out on the pitch this weekend if we wanted, wanted to, which is great news for us. Uh, hopefully that can continue for the next couple of weeks. So as I say, we run into our next block of Premiership games at 100% like fit. Not just because that helps us on a Saturday, but also helps us in the build-up in training as well. We train with quality if we've got everybody fit. We train with a bit of intensity and a, just a little bit of bite. And that's going to be important in this second half of the season. So I'm really comfortable where we are. You know, largely down, a lot of these injury issues we've not got are down to great work the conditioners do in, in the gym here and the, the prehab and rehab work the, the medical staff do. So, you know, they're doing a fantastic job. Um, and if we stay, stay where we are, we're going to be fine for the rest of the season. I'm, I'm very comfortable where we stand at the minute. Thanks very much, Rob.